welcome to my world, bitch. Welcome back, guys. This is part two of my uh, horror man cave tour. And I'm going to start this where I left off. And this is my trick or treat studios uh, part two Texas Chainsaw Massacre mask. Got real leather stitches. And this is my massive Texas Chainsaw Massacre poster. Back up a little bit from it. This poster is made out of vinyl. It is absolutely massive. It is four foot wide by seven foot tall. I'll give you a better look at it. This is my horror movie collection. If you want to know the movies that I have, just you know, leave a comment down below. And I'll make a video on them. Then up here in the corner. have a sign picture of Gunnar Hansen Leatherface 1974 Texas Chainsaw Massacre here I have part two signed here I have part three signed remake I have a little corner table here. I have an urn. There's no ashes in it. It's just for looks. But I thought it was pretty cool. Actually, I found it at a thrift store and painted it silver and put this plaque on it. But I, I haven't yet put a name on it. So if you could help me with a name to put on it, Leave it in the comments below. Then we move up this wall. And this is a little self-decorating. Some more Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Got a hammer. Hanging on the wall. Let's see if I leather face sorry about the glare then I have the saw blade and I drew a silhouette of leather face stuck on it hung it on the wall I thought it looked pretty cool and then we move over here to some pictures that I had drew There is Kiefer Sutherland as David on the Lost Boys. And I kind of thought that crosshair kind of looked 
you know, vampirish. I guess is the word I'm looking for. I thought it would look good hanging there next to him, so. But yeah, it's Kiefer. This is another picture that I drew of a vampire skeleton. And here's a universal Frankenstein. I drew that. I love doing that in my spare time, just drawing monsters and creating cool art to hang on the wall. And also, if y'all are interested in anything like that, drop a comment below and we'll get something worked out. Down here, this was a, a t-shirt. I'm a big fan of Kiss. It's the Farewell Tour, 1973 to 2000. And then we move over here, and this is another picture that I drew of Gene Simmons. And I also, let me see if I can get it right here. And I also have a Gene Simmons guitar pick. Then we move down here and I just got a pumpkin wreath. Reminds me of Halloween. And here's another picture that I drew of the mask of uh, Rob Zombie's Halloween. The young Michael Myers clown mask. And another picture that I drew the Pumpkin Killer Michael Myers by Rob Zombie. And then the Michael Myers actual mask. And I drew all, all of those. Have a Grim Reaper hanging up in the corner. Now, what I'm going to do next, guys, is, well, let me show you. Here's my King Kong. This is my Bruce. Squeeze his back fin and his mouth opens and shuts. And this is my Godzilla. Okay guys, uh, what I was going to say is uh, now what I'm going to do is turn off my main light and kind of give you a view of the whole man cave. So, here we go. And now that the lights are off, I have this projector, and I call this my living poster. It's my actual window. So there's my air conditioner, my leather face mask that I showed earlier, my NECA leather face, and then I have my air conditioner. 
I have black curtains and on my blind I have projected I think it's awesome I freaking love that. That's just, that's awesome. Anyway, my big poster again, Leatherface. And another thing I'll show you, I, if you notice I have a lot of red going on. But I can change all these colors. I can go blue, green, purple, pink, whatever you want to call that. But the blue's real cool. And then, uh, if I want to go all blue, then all I got to do is that. Can dim them down a little bit. There we go. I'll give you a look. And one more thing before I end this video is I'm going to show you my ceiling and what I have on my ceiling I have ghost bats projected on the ceiling. Let's see if I can get you a better look at them. And they come up from the wall. And the star shower. And there was a few changes that I made uh, since I did the part one that I'll point out real quick. And let's see, let me get the light turned back on. I made this 1428 to go above my, four, uh, my Elm Street sign. And then down here, I created me Freddy was here Just put it on the wall I love how it turned out and then over here I put the cut marks like Freddy had cut my wall looks really good at when the lights are off uh, I'll, sh I'll turn the lights back off and show you in a moment and I also made some changes on my refrigerator.
through the fangs. I told you that in the first video, but I added Rob Zombie. And then I'm going to move up here. And I'm a big fan of the Grim Life Collective. It's a YouTube channel. They're very interesting. You ought to watch them. Check them out. They're, they're really entertaining. They do, uh, they're very in, uh, um, educational. Very fun to watch. Love those guys. And also from Grim Life Collective. That's bad booty. Another uh, YouTube channel that I like is Pizzow. Here I have Rest in Peace. And I drew me the Monsters. And then I also drew 80s horror. And I love horror movies. And that's going to be all for today. I hope y'all enjoyed my horror man cave tour. Where'd you get those eyes? Would please give a big thumbs up. Subscribe. And we'll see you next time.